Hello beautiful people of Ferrum College. My name's Leanne Russell, I'm the Cam for Hospitality and Travel, but I'm also a fitness instructor. And this is my lovely assistant, Ewan, and Charlie the dog. I've got two now. Okay, so we thought we'd share with you a really simple circuit that takes about 30 minutes to complete. The whole family can do it, and you need just three bits of equipment. So you need a phone or stopwatch to time yourself. You need a mat or towel, something to lay on, and you need a step, bench or chair, something along those lines. Okay, so let's have a look, quick look at the plan for the circuit. So we're going to start off with about a three minute warm up. Start to get warm, start to get those muscles ready to work. Then the main body of your circuit is ten exercises. So you're going to do each of the ten exercises. First round for about 45 seconds per exercise with a brief, maybe 10 to 15 rest in between. And then round two, you're going to cut it down to about 25 seconds per exercise with about a 10 second rest in between. We'll go through those exercises in a second. Then a little bit of a short rest and then you're going to do a, a 60 second challenge and a, a fitness test and then cool down at the end. So the exercises today, we've got jumping jacks, tricep dips, floor runs, dorsal raises, running or high knees, lunges, cycle crunch, burpees, squats and toe taps. So for the warm up, like I said, round about three minutes to get the heart rate up a little bit and start to get those muscles ready. So maybe start off nice and easy with some marching on the spot, take it up to some jogging, maybe some high knees, side jacks, ball jacks, you could do some little twists, some spotted dogs, just to gradually build up the heart rate and get warm for around about three minutes. Okay, then let's go through these exercises. So exercise one, we've got jumping jacks. So your level one is a side jack, one side at a time. Level two, you've got a four jack, making sure that those heels make contact with the floor. Lovely. Exercise number two, tricep dips. This is what we need the seat bench or step for. So we're going to work those triceps, the muscles down the back of the upper forearm, upper uh, upper arm, sorry. So option one. Get the feet, the legs at about 45 degrees. Take it down, bending the elbows, making sure the elbows face the back, and keeping that bum close to the bench, step, whatever you're using. If you want to make it tougher, take the legs out long, or even place some kind of weight on the thighs to make it harder. Okay, exercise three, we've got floor runs. So, lower option first. You're gonna come down to a plank position you're going to step and bring the knees up. Now we're going to go same knee to elbow. This is your lower option. If you want to take it up a gear, you're going to bring it up a little quicker. Really kind of pushing the knees up towards those elbows and the chest. Okay, number three, dorsal raises. It's going to work the lower back and the core muscles. You're going to come down to your mat, laying on your tummy. Now, take the feet together, toes together, let the heels come out. Option one, the lower level, take the hands on the lower back. Now look down to the floor, keep your gaze down to the floor and come up. We're feeling it across the lower back. <coughs> Option two, hands here, either side of the ears or the face. And if you want to make it really tough, I'm going to move you over a little bit, Ewan. You're going to take your hands out wide, uh, um, arms out long, sorry, and bring it up as you rise. Number five, really simple, jogging on the spot. So this is your lower uh, lower option. Take it up higher. You're gonna bring those knees up, kind of hip height. Exercise number six. So lunges. Now we're gonna do both sides. You're gonna go. You're gonna stop halfway and uh, change legs. So take a long step back, but hip width. Your lunge position, you should have the front knee in line with the ankle, back leg parallel to the floor. So because we're only doing it for a short duration of time, hold it down and pulse. Lower level, not so deep. If you want to really challenge those legs and butts, take it nice and low, just above the ground, pulsing it out. Okay, cycle crunch, working those abs. I'm going to come down to the mat again. So... 
Sorry, human. <laughs> got the base job. So this is your lower level. We're taking the opposite elbows to move. Next option, take the legs off. Try and keep the legs long. Really moving the shoulders, taking that elbow almost to meet the knee. Okay. <laughs> Ali, move out of the way. <laughs> We've got burpees. Who doesn't love a burpee? Right, three levels for this burpee, okay? Level one, hands to the floor. Step out, step out, step in, step in, stand it up. Level two, jump out, jump in, stand up. Level three, four, jumping up nice and high, like so. Nearly there, we've got squats. So we're gonna do a wide squat. We're gonna take our feet outside of our shoulder line. We're gonna take the toes slightly out. And when we come down, we're gonna keep the knees in line with the toes and sit that butt low over the heels. Your target is to get your butt to stop just above the knees and you're gonna pulse it out. So, to make it tougher, hold it down. A little bit easier, come up a little higher. Okay, last exercise, toe taps. Now, hide in your step bench seat where it's not too high, if you can reach it, this is the toe tap. Slow and controlled. Lower option, on the spot, tapping it out. Okay, so that's your 10 exercises. So round one, 45 seconds, 15 seconds, there about rest in between. Round two, do it for 25 seconds and about 10 seconds rest. Now this fitness challenge, this fitness test. Two parts, three parts actually. First of all, you've got a 60 second push up challenge. So, this is a you against yourself. You're gonna do as many push ups as you can in 60 seconds. Now, levels again, box press. Take the hands outside, very important, hands outside the shoulders. And you're gonna bring it down, that's your level one. Level two, take the knees further away, coming down. If you're feeling strong, come onto those toes, keeping the body nice and straight, pushing it up and down, pushing the floor away. So you do as many as you can in 60 seconds. Keep track of that to see if you're getting a little bit fitter and a little bit stronger. Next part, we've got a wall sit. So any surface, any wall, I didn't think about this bit. I'll try, I'll do it, just pretend there's a wall there. So you come down, kind of a narrow squat position, and you're gonna sit flat against a wall. And you're gonna see how long you can hold it. Now take the hand, don't keep the hands on the thighs, want the hands out nice and strong in front. And you stay down as long as you can, yeah? Okay. Then we've got the plank or the sit up challenge. So you've got two choices here. You can hold a plank. The plank, option one, on the knees. Option two, full plank, straight body, like a plank of wood. You hold that for as long as you can. Then, as an option there, if you don't want to do the plank, uh, the, uh, plank you can do a sit-up challenge. You choose, you can do pulses, or you can do a four-range sit-up, coming all the way up to the knees, but keeping those elbows wide. Again, as many as you can, in 60 seconds if you're doing that sit-up challenge. Last but not least, you've got a cool down. There you go, baby. He's getting bored, so you're probably out too. Right, cool down. So, some stretches for the cool down. We're gonna start with two on the floor. Come on down, taking those legs apart a little bit. We're gonna stretch the hamstrings, muscles down the back there. So, you're just gonna Face one leg at a time and just ease yourself down, keeping the chin up, lower the chest, feeling that stretch down the back of the thigh. So each of these stretches you're going to hold for around about 20 to 30 seconds. So I'll do it a little quicker to demo to the other side. Then we're going to stretch the inner thigh. So we're going to take the feet together, let the knees relax and stretch out. The adductors, those muscles inside of the thigh there. You can put a little bit of pressure on the knees, a bit of a developmental stretch. Okay, then we're going to come up. 
So we're going to stretch the quads front of the thigh. Now keep the knees together if you can. And take that hand up for a bit of balance. So you feel that stretch down the front of the thigh, those four quad muscles there. <laughs> Baby fell asleep. And then just some stretches to finish. So you're going to hold each stretch for about 20 to 30 seconds. So on the mat to start, take the feet apart. Hamstring stretch. Lower the chest, keeping the chin up. Stretch down the back of the leg. Then the other side. The adductor stretch in a thigh. Take the feet together, let the knees relax. A little bit of pressure with the elbows. And then standing up. Quad stretch, front of the thigh. Knees together, bring that foot up behind. Other side. Upper body stretch. So relax the shoulders. Turn the elbows to the floor, lower your gaze and stretch across the upper back. And a chest stretch. Take the hands behind, squeezing the elbows together. Open the chest. Triceps, one hand down the back. A little bit of pressure on the elbow. Stretch, reach down the back. The other side. And then you're done. So, it can be hard to get motivated at times, but I've got three tips that always help me. Number one, try and get into a habit or routine. So make sure that you maybe do your exercise the same sort of time every week. Uh, get your clothes out ready the night before. So when I get up and my clothes are there ready, I always feel a bit more motivated and uh, inspired to do some exercise. Number three, put on some music, put on some tunes that really motivate you and get you moving. So good luck everybody, stay safe, and hopefully you and, and I will see you soon. Lots of love.